Hey guys, I know it's been about a month since my last YouTube video and I really apologize for that. It's been crazy for the past month and I will discuss a little bit on what's been going on but mainly this video will be about what are my 2017 project life goals. So rewinding back to December, I know in the last two weeks I said I was going to do a process video per day but unexpectedly, um, if you don't know, if this is your first time watching one of my videos or this video, um, I do have a brother who is diagnosed with leukemia since August of 2015. Sorry, I thought I was gonna perp. Oh, okay. So his oncologist originally said he was going to come back in January. However, um, his oncologist decided, oh, he can go home to three days before Christmas. So, we had to hassle on getting all his stuff from Gainesville, which is an hour and a half from where we live, back to where we live. <laughs> and um, on top of that, there's Christmas and New Year's, and we had relatives coming over, cooking and cleaning all the time, so it was pretty crazy. So I didn't have enough time to do any YouTube videos or Project Life or process videos, I should say. So um, we were really happy that my brother could come home a lot earlier to spend the holidays with us. So that was one of the great things that happened. Second thing is um, I've been studying for the GRE for the past month and hopefully mid-February, possibly the third week of February, I will be taking the test because I really want to go back to school. <laughs> yeah, so that's just one of my goals for um, this year. So, and I think that's pretty much it. That's what's been happening. And um, I will try and do maybe once a week a video since I'm studying right now. But hopefully after I'm done with everything that I need to do, um, I can get back to my regular schedule of doing process videos for you guys. So anyways, on to 2017 Project Life Goals. So, I decided starting with 2017, I am going to start doing 9x12 albums. 12x12 albums are just... They're just too big. They're just too big. I mean, I, I'm going to stick with 12x12s for my college years from 2008 to 2013 so because I um, have a lot of photos during those years and I tried to do a 9 by 12 for my first college or first year of college and that didn't work out because of the amount of photos I had so I will only do 12 by 12s for my college years but when it comes to 2017 and you know, for future project life, um, I think I'm just going to stick with 9x12. Well, I'm going to try doing a 9x12 for this year, and if I still don't like doing a 9x12, then I guess I might try a 6x8, which is going to take possibly <laughs> maybe five albums for one year, which I don't like the idea, but I, I think, I, hopefully, I will stick with a 9x12 from now to whenever. So, I did buy... A 9 by 12 album on scrapbook.com which was on clearance for 13 something and there was two left the last time I saw so and plus this is on clearance so I don't know if it's still there and if you guys do want to get this one if you don't care what the design looks like you just want to get a 9 by 12 that's not $29.99 from Studio Calico yeah or um, you can also buy it on Amazon. They do have this one and the gray one with the gold star, but it's, I believe it's still original price. I think around like $26. So yeah, the options for buying 9 by 12 albums are very limited. Um, but mostly a lot of scrapbookers, if you're interested in starting 9 by 12, a lot of people buy their 9 by 12 albums from Studio Calico, but I recommend that you buy them during their BOGO because I'd rather pay $29.99 for one and then get the second one for free so I'm really stalking Studio Calico right now because I do want to buy like two more now my 12 albums just in case 
if I do stick with not my 12 albums so I don't have to worry about buying them later but um yeah I already have the page protectors since last year but the thing is since this particular not my 12 is I believe is one of the first not my 12 albums that studio calico came out with the rings is a little bit different from the ones that they're selling now so this one is um three rings and the new ones are like four rings so i did had to punch a hole in in the middle of the page protectors that i got from a beautiful mess i believe that's that's what their company is called which is a sister company to studio calico so just just to let you guys know if you do buy that the older down by 12 albums and you buy the new page protectors it's not really going to coordinate well so you're gonna have to um, punch a hole in, mid in the middle but if you don't want to do that then just stick with buying the studio calico albums that they're selling now so you don't have to think about punching holes later on so yeah, not my 12 albums. And then I really need to clean my craft room. It's ridiculously just disorganized. And I actually had to add a three foot by three foot table behind me because I barely have enough room to put more scrapbook items. <laughs> and plus my birthday is coming up in March and I know, I know I'm going to be like shopping for a lot more scrapbook items. And on top of that, uh, Scrapbook Expo is going to be in Orlando first week of May, which seems like it's not that far away. So, woo, yeah, it's. So I really, I think I might have to destash some stuff, but um, I will let you guys know about that. And I think I also need to reevaluate how I need to style the way I design my. Um, project life cards and stuff because I'm even though I think I'm utilizing my embellishments I still have a lot of embellishments all over the place especially in my um, iris containers oh it's driving me nuts it's driving me I love embellishments but I think who I think my style is leaning more towards like Kelly Perky like minimalistic type of style so I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, that's something that I just need to <laughs> think about more on because I won't be, I won't start on my, not my 12th album for this year until the end of January because I have to look through my photos and decide, okay, which one's going to be a full 9 by 12 page, which one's going to, you know, and so forth. So um, that's another thing that I'm trying to also um, be mindful about with my photos. Like I want to, I want my photos to be great quality. I want them to look good because when I look back on my 2016 album, some photos is just like, uh, I was too lazy on editing and it's either too dark or it just doesn't look good. And that's another thing. Um, in my, I didn't, I don't really like my 2016 project life. It's because I, I have a lot of movies and tv series and music not a lot of real life stuff like pictures from you know outside <laughs> around my house or wherever i go out like either shopping or you know just just real life everyday stuff so i'm a little bit disappointed in myself that i don't have that kind of or that many photos in my 2016 so i'm gonna try and incorporate a lot more of that in that in my 2017 album and when it comes to movies tvs and musics maybe like the best one like the best song of that week or the best movie of that week or the best tv series of that week so i don't have so many movies tv series and music because that's I mean, it's a great way to utilize them in your weeks if they seem empty, which I liked. But sometimes if you have it every week, it, it just really looks, it does, to me, it just doesn't look good anymore. <laughs> so that's something I need to change too. So my video is already about 10 minutes, so I will 
try and do a process video or upload a process video for you guys today and um, I will see you in the next video so I really hope you guys had a great Christmas and New Year's and bye guys